Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about Newton's first law of inertia. All right, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We are in the Eco Discovery Center. We've got two cool looking experiments that we're going to do. They look very basic, but these um, both are driving home a point. Um, we actually want to talk about Newton today, Sir Isaac Newton. And Newton's known for his three laws. Of those three laws, we're actually only going to talk about the first one today which is basically inertia, and it is an object, stay, an object in motion will stay in motion unless act, acted upon by another force. So we have two different experiments. We also have Brady, who is one of our educators here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. How you doing, Brady? I'm doing okay so far. So I'm looking at these, and I'm kind of excited about them, but they all look very simple. And when I think of experiments, I'm thinking chemicals and explosions and such but there's no chemicals here today. So are we still doing experiments? So we're doing experiments. We're talking about physics, though, oh. uh, which <laughs> physics and chemistry kind of blend together, kind of root sciences kind of play together in all other kinds of sciences, uh, biology and meteorology and so forth. Uh, but these are basic physics experiments to demonstrate Newton's first law of physics, uh, which is also known as inertia, right? An object at rest stays at rest. For the first one, I'm going to take this ring and put it across this Erlenmeyer flask here. Now, what, is this just like a regular ring? Is it just a... It's a pretty lightweight kind of, I don't know, plexi-plastic type of material. Okay. But very lightweight. Very and you just, just kind of twirl it around, lightweight thing. We can put across the top of the this Spanning the top, lip. okay. And just a little wooden block just on the very center. So right now, the block is at rest, right? Everything is at rest right now. So I feel like this is like some kind of a magic trick you're about to do and blow my mind. But um, explain to me what is supposed to happen before we do this. Right. So the difference between a magic trick and a science lesson is we're explaining what is happening as we go along. A magic trick, I can just do these things and just leave you wondering. Uh, but for this, we have everything at rest, the block, the ring, the flask. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the ring out of the way. And the experiment is to see what happens to the block. So I want you at home to just try to hypothesize for a minute, reflect on what we've been talking about. An object at rest stays at rest. Survey what's at rest here, what's going to be in motion, and think about what might happen to the block. We're focused on the block. Not the ring. So you're going to knock the ring out of the way. Yeah. OK, and then the block's supposed to do something that our viewers are going to guess. Yes. All right, go ahead. Let's so see we're going happens. to see now. Ready? OK, so. My mind's a little fried right now. Got to think about this for a minute. So you knock this out of the way, and I'm assuming because the block was at rest, and we removed this, then gravity just took over and sent it right down into the, into the flask. Yeah, so an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by another force. So the ring being at rest, just the material of the ring and the material of the block kind of has it till there's not a lot of friction in it the block isn't going to follow the ring. The block is going to stay where it's at, which is in place, at rest. But gravity is also at play. So, that, so pulling the ring out of the way allowed the block to fall straight into the flask. So if we had no gravity, what would happen to the block? We had no gravity. I guess theoretically, first of all, we wouldn't be standing here. We'd be uh, you know, Fair point. floating across Fair the point. room. <laughs> and, but, the but just... If gravity was not acting upon the block specifically, it would be floating perfectly in place. Got it. OK. That's a really cool one. So here I, I see a bunch of just like party beads inside of a flask. Yes. Am I, do I drink this? Do I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with uh, this. I don't think the beads are edible. Oh, OK. What's cool. going to happen is the beads are all, these are a bunch of party beads that are strung together into one long chain of party beads. That's a long chain. So since they're all connected, they'll all be able to follow along the same momentum. All I want to do is just kind of start a little bit of motion on one end of the chain. And we're going to see what happens to the rest of the chain of beads, all the way to the bottom, just from this one little lip of the flask. We're ready? And these are our inertia beads here. So this is demonstrating our inertia, our Newton's first law of physics. So all I'm going to do is just pull on this string a little bit. I'm going to hold it over here so it has some room. And we're going to go from three to one. And the whole entire thing is, oh, uh, we got stuck somewhere. 
But we can see that as they're moving, each bead follows the next bead all the way out. And you're kind of defying gravity because you're going up against it to fall on the outside until there's nothing left and we've emptied the entire flask. That is a really great experiment to show. I know a lot of kids do that with maybe even liquid where they'll start pouring a liquid from one thing to another and get further and further away and they kind of follow, the liquid follows itself into the next cup without falling anywhere. And I, I, so, I mean, great experiment, absolutely loved it. Okay, well thank you all for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you again next time. We'd like to thank the John Rao Fund at the Community Foundation of Broward for sponsoring today's video. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.